I'm Mike Enix, Vice President of Sales with Technix Tool Group. Today we're going to talk about shrink fit technology. I'm going to demonstrate our latest lineup of shrink fit machines, all made in the USA. Shrink fit technology is becoming more popular in the market for high speed machining, high performance machining, for a number of different reasons. One is the gripping force on the, on the shank, so you don't have any kind of tool slippage, no scrap of, of parts. Uh, rigidity, so you're holding the cutting tool with solid H13 metal as opposed to soft sleeves or soft collets. Uh, it's better balanced, so you don't have collet nuts and collets that would affect the, the tool holder uh, assembly. And it's also better for machining in tight, in tight areas. So you have a much smaller nose diameter than you would with say a milling chuck uh, or a collet type system. All of this leads to uh, many advantages in machining higher metal removal rates, better surface finishes, as well as extended tool life. One of the barriers to entry to enjoy these benefits has always been the cost of the machine. So let's take a look at the Shrink Station 450. It's our most compact and economical model. Uh, the machine again is built here in the United States. The first thing we want to do when we're setting up a machine is make sure that we've got the proper induction stop ring. So the machine has four different stop rings that are, going to be, that are going to correspond with the shank diameter of the cutting tool. In this case, we've got a half inch diameter tool that we're going to be shrinking. So I've got the, the corresponding ring or the appropriate ring for that. Simply lift up on the induction head, rotate the induction stop ring. When the top red button is activated, I know that I've got it in the proper placement. This machine will shrink tools eighth inch diameter up to inch and a quarter. However, on one of our larger machines, we do have a three inch capacity head. So the diameter of the induction head is three inches. It accommodates most two inch diameter cutting tools. So if you, if you have uh, larger tools, we can accommodate those as well. Again, it's a very intuitive touchscreen display super user friendly. The machine will always remember the last time setting that you had for a particular diameter. So if you're shrinking a quarter inch and you know it takes four seconds, the machine will remember that. Most tools are going to, you're going to be able to shrink in and out within five seconds. You can also adjust the time on the slide bar as well as there's a plus minus button on the uh, touchscreen display that allows you to dial in that time setting. So I'm going to hit auto up. You can either jog up or you can auto up. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna travel up. The nose of the tool holder is gonna hit the induction stop ring, and then it's gonna drop down slightly. That takes the guesswork out of knowing the exact placement that that tool holder should be. It also uh, takes the tool holder so it's not contacting the induction stop ring directly. That's gonna prevent damage from, uh, from the, the heat to the induction stop ring. Very simple to operate, as I mentioned. I know I have the tool holder in the proper place. I'm going to hit the heat button. This machine cools the tool holder down by using standard shop air. There's an air line that feeds into the induction head that cools the tool holder. That process takes two to three minutes to, in order to cool the tool holder down. Okay, now we've got a worn cutting tool that we need to extract. It's basically the same operation in reverse. We're going to take the tool holder with the cutting tool in it, heat up the holder, Again, in about five to seven seconds, you can pull the tool out and you're back in business. There's three shrink fit machines in the Technics lineup. The Shrink Station 450 that we saw, the Quencher that we're getting ready to look at here in just a minute, as well as the Shrink Pro. Now, the difference between the Shrink Pro and the Shrink Quencher is strictly in how the tool holder is cooled down. So the Shrink Pro is gonna be very similar to the Shrink Station in that there's a shop air line that's connected to the induction head that just blasts air on the, on the tool holder. That process takes about two to three minutes. With the Quencher, the tool holder is immersed down into a mixture of coolant and water to cool the tool holder down. That process takes about 35 seconds. All right, let's take a look at the quencher machine. This is our flagship shrink machine in the Technic Shrink offering. It's also our most productive machine and popular machine because it's the fastest in terms of being able to shrink and cool a tool holder back down. It shares many common elements with the Shrink Station 450 that we looked at. So it's also made uh, right here in the US of A in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. 
It's got a very easy to use touchscreen display, shares a lot of the same programming as the, as the display in the shrink station. So you can dial in the diameter of the tool, the machine will always automatically remember the last time setting that you had. It's got uh, fractional sizes as well as metric. Really the main difference with this unit is rather than blasting air through the induction head, the tool holder is going to be immersed down into a mixture of coolant and water, quenched, uh, brought up and dried off with a series of fans, and within about 35 seconds that entire process is done and you're off and running. All right, for the demo we're going to go ahead and use a half inch Cat 40 shrink fit holder with a half inch cutting tool just like we did with the shrink station. Again, the process is going to take about five seconds, just like on the shrink station machine. I'm going to drop the induction uh, head down. I have induction stop rings, in fact, the same ones that we use on the shrink station, so you want to make sure that's positioned properly and sized according to the shank of the tool. Hold down the red button, you'll notice smoke coming off the tool holder, it's going to get hot in a half inch, you're going to get the tool holder to about 500 degrees within five seconds. There's going to be a brief air blast, about five second air blast, you can set the time on this, and then the tool holder is going to go down into, again, a mixture of coolant and water. Right now I've got the quencher set up to where it's going to shrink for 30 seconds. So it'll be down for 30 seconds, it'll cool, and then as it's brought up, uh, it'll dry the tool holder off with a series of fans. You'll notice this little sink over here, and what this is for, it's actually filling up with coolant and water as well. And this is for when you extract the cutting tool, you can put the hot cutting tool uh, in that sink to cool the, the tool off. This is going to be completely cool to the touch. That whole process takes about 35 seconds. Now I've got a worn out cutting tool in my shrink fit holder. I need to extract the cutting tool and insert a new one. Let's show you how that process works. Basically the same concept as shrinking a tool in. I'm going to drop the induction head down. You'll see how easy this is. And again, this process is going to take about oh, five seconds or so. Now one thing you'll notice, same process, five second air blast and then the quench cycle will start. There's a sink over here that's begin, gonna begin to fill up with fluid. That's so I can take a hot cutting tool, put that over, immerse it down as well to, to cool the cutting tool down. Technic shrink fit machines come standard with all available accessories for all units. There's the induction stop rings, there's four induction stop rings that will shrink tools, eighth inch up to inch and a quarter. There's also all the different spindle adapters. So Cat 40, Cat 50, all popular sizes will ship standard with the machine. Lastly, there's a shrink fit glove for enhanced safety when handling hot tools. Our quencher machine also ships with enough coolant to get started with the ability to, to quench tools. We offer a variety of different Tapers, CAT, BT, as well as HSK and CAPTO. Also in a variety of gauge lengths, everything from standard length to more extended reach as well. We also offer coolant ported holders to direct coolant right to the cutting zone. In addition to our standard and cool blast offering, we also have our Slim Pro for small uh, nose clearance as well as our SFS modular system. The advantage of this system is I have one master adapter with a variety of lengths of shrink extensions. So there's actually four different sizes, also available in CAT, HSK, and BT. These are great for five axis machining as well as mold and die work, anytime where you've got to get down inside of a cavity or around a fixture for long reach application. The last thing I want to show you is our heavy wall shrink fit. Some of our customers have very specific requirements on shrink fit, especially in heavy metal removal rates. Think titanium, aluminum. Uh, we've got a, a very large nose diameter, so more mass at the nose of the tool holder for extra rigidity. Uh, specific requirements for the bore depth, so how much of the bore is actually going to contact the shank of the cutting tool. And even customers that require a certain number of coolant ports, whether it be two coolant ports or in this case, 
four coolant ports on the tool holder. So these are very custom solutions. If you don't see what you want in the catalog, it's okay. Our turbo turn division can make custom special solutions in six weeks or less. We're very proud of our USA made lineup of shrink fit machines. Today we looked at the shrink station, the shrink pro and the quencher along with the latest in tool holder and shrink fit technology from Technix. If you have any questions at all, please contact us at the number or the email on the screen. Our dedicated team of experienced professionals will be eager to assist you. Thank you so much for your time and attention today.